skill tree was half full. Now it's completely empty. But its base damage is now the max, and my max goes up. It doesn't go up that much, people. It's not like, oh my god, this gun just became like that much better. But you can keep doing that, I believe. And maybe I just fucked it up and it was already like at the... I don't remember what attacks were. Oh, did that say? Oh. So, yeah, whatever. I just tried it out. I should have looked at it before I put it in there to see what stats were. I'm assuming all exotics are always level 20, so it's just about bumping up their power. This is like music. <clears throat> I'm going to go see what Erin has in her bounty since I have one slot open now. Just to see what she kind of has for the day. This game is like infinitely grinding, so it's one of those games that, you know, after you put in a few, you're kind of like, mm, maybe I'll step back, you know, play something else for a bit. Kill at the Amherst class items equipped. Use solar arc. Solar or arc ability to kill an enemy. Well, that's super easy. <laughs> Don't let your guard down. Tell everyone you aren't hunting Krita. You're just killing time. Hello. Hello. Now, I could have totally just, like, wasted that 25 modes alive exotic shard. I don't know. I should have totally looked at Icebreaker stats ahead of time, but the fact is I still would have upgraded it, whether or not it was that much of an upgrade or not. I'm pretty sure it just added, like, 30 damage to its ability. I would say, too, that most likely, if you really want to up stuff with exotic shards, do the armor, especially for Iron Banner, where your armor makes a difference. Somebody, you know, same levels you with the same exact armor, with the same exact skill tree, except yours has already been through Zer once. It's going to be a little bit better. Sweet. What do you feel like doing? Let's see what time it is. It's still early today. I don't know. 11 o'clock, a couple hours in. We can roll over and go back to the Skyrim world for a little bit. Let's see what, pe let's see what, pe let's see what they think in the chat. Oh, no. They'll just always argue. So. <laughs> I go with active players. Like I said, today's Saturday, people. It's kind of just my game day. I'm going to play what I want to play when I play it. Um, even though I know Saturday is like the busiest day, it's just I might pop this out and put Red Dead Redemption in, you know. You guys also need to feel fine with, you know, playing Far Cries and Skyrims and NFLs, you know. Just sit in the chat and talk. Like I said, playing with me is an amazing, you know, it, it makes multiplayer games multiplayer, but it's, it's the viewing. So as long as you're viewing, you know, you got my love. Mm. Yeah, let's just head over and play in the Skyrim world for a little bit. I might, because I'm probably going to bounce between like two or three games today, so, you know, uh, two or three hours of this, and then we, we already put like two and a half in, and we can come back to it a little bit later. Put a little bit in the, to the Skyrim world. Now, remember, six people only, first come, first serve. Um, <clears throat> we've got the new Skyrim world that we're playing in, and uh, Mike's people. I, I'm not going to tolerate diarrhea of the mouth, high volumes, crackling, popping. I'm just going to turn people off of the show from now on. Because you go back, toxic. Thank you for the follow. You go back and watch my YouTube channels. It's just, you know, hours of people talking constantly, really loud, arguing with each other, popping, snapping, crackling, whatever it may be. And, uh, you know, like I said, playing with me is a follow perk and good behavior, but. Uh, being heard on the show is even a higher quality, you know. A perk. For a long time, I used to always jump up this back way. Like, I could just go boop. And then jump from the second, the first one all the way up to the roof. Excuse me. Like that. And I dance, 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 dance. Dance a machine. Set the fan up for me. Uh oh. Sorry. No, that's fine. I was jumping off to you just because it's funny to hear your... To funny how how we, they take damage even in the tower. Oh, I didn't know you were up there. Hold on, do it again. No, it's not going off.
You gonna trigger the fan? Oh, the tower strikes again. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, guys, I'm gonna put something in here in the chat really quick. All right, make sure if you guys play Destiny and you want to make it into the Crucible and you want to make it into the um, Vault of Glass or Crota's End with us, we play with active viewers, we play with followers, of course, but we before. give priority to those in the Bungie Net clan. So if you don't want to get your spot taken out because you're not high enough, just go over to the Bungie Net. Just open up an account. It's a lot like Rockstar Social Club. It's free. I knew we were going to leave. All right. We're going to be uh, changing games here. We'll be right back. We'll be bouncing back into Destiny a little bit later, folks. Don't worry. Make sure you guys share each other's handles in the chat. Get to know each other. Uh, you'll most likely be playing with each other. Uh, another big thing to remember is... Um, we have two different crucibles. We have ranked play and regular. Uh, we'll be doing regular play as training and tryouts for um, the ranked play. Sorry, it's brain fart now. Whether it's Grand Theft Auto, UFC, Soul Calibur, Skyrim, Far Cry, Fallout, Battlefield, Destiny, GTA, or Minecraft on the PS3. Whether or not you're playing Daisy, Smite, Elder Scrolls Online, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, War Thunder, Warframe, Smite, uh, so many, so many games on the PC. 